Today we are going to fix error 429 too many request problem. Let's start. The first solution is clearing cache files and closing extensions. To do this, we need to open our browser. After opening our browser, we click on the three dots at the top right corner and open settings. Once we have done that, we click on privacy and security, third party cookies, and then see all site data and permissions. After doing this, we tap the site we have a problem with in the search bar. After searching for the site, we click on the trash icon and then click on delete. We have cleared the cache files. Now, we click on extensions from the left and close our extensions. We have closed our extensions. Now, you can check if the problem is solved or not. Also, don't forget to like the video. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the second solution. The second solution is using VPN. If the problem is regional, changing location with a VPN can solve our problem. To add a VPN to our browser, we need to open Chrome Web Store. After opening Chrome Web Store, search for VPN in the search bar. After searching for it, you can add any VPN you want to add. If you have a VPN program like me, you don't need to add a VPN to your browser. After connecting to the VPN, you can check whether the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the third solution. The third solution is changing DNS. To do this, we come to the search section and search for control panel. After searching for control panel, we open it. After opening control panel, we click on network and internet, network and sharing center, and then click on our connection. After clicking on our connection, we open properties. Once we have done that, we select IPv4 and open properties again. Here, we need to check use the following DNS server addresses. After doing that, we set preferred DNS server to 1111. After setting preferred DNS server, we set alternate DNS server 1001. This DNS is belongs to Cloudflare and it is completely safe to use. We click OK and apply the changes. We have changed our DNS server. Now, you can check if the problem is solved or not. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. Also, you can find more solutions comments below. Take care and see you in the next video.